This tutorial focuses on the enhancement to QuickBooks Accountant involving the Batch Enter Transaction feature. In the past, accountants were limited to creating checks, deposits, credit card charges, and credits in the Batch Enter Transaction window. QuickBooks Accountant users can now more easily create batches of invoices, credit memos, bills, and bill credits. After completing this tutorial, you'll be able to create invoices, credit memos, bills, and bill credits using the Batch Enter Transaction feature. For this demonstration, I'll start on the home page. I'll click the Accountant menu and select Batch Enter Transactions. This brings up the Batch Enter Transactions window. The overall view of this window has not changed, but additional options for invoices, credit memos, bills, and bill credits have been added to the Transaction Type drop-down list. I'll start by creating a batch of invoices. I'll click the Transaction Type drop-down field and select Invoices and Credit Memos. The account field will default to the 11,000 account receivable account. It's important to note here that customers can change this account as needed if they're using multiple account receivable accounts. I'll fill out the lines of the batch enter transactions. For line 1, I'll enter 12-15-2017. For customer job, Babcock's Music Shop. The item is Cabinets Light Pine, the quantity is 1, and the amount tax code, and tax item will autofill. For line 2, the date will default to December 15, 2017. The customer job is Chris Baker. The item is installation, quantity is 3, and the amount, tax code, and tax item again will autofill. I'll click Save Transactions to record the invoices. On the Confirm Account window, I'll click Yes. And on the Transaction Saved window, I'll click OK. Now I'll enter bills in the Batch Enter Transaction window. I'll click the Transaction Type drop-down and select Bills and Bill Credits. I'll enter an expense-based bill on line 1. The date is 12-15-2017. The vendor's name is Diane's Auto Shop. The account is 6130 Repairs and Maintenance and the amount is $200. On line 2, I'll create an item-based bill, but first I need to customize the columns so that I can show an item column. I'll click the Customize Columns button. I'll click Item from the list on the left side of the Customize Columns window. I'll click the Add button to move Item to the right side. Then I'll click OK to save the change. The Batch Enter Transactions window for Bills and Bill Credits will now include an item column. Now I can enter an item-based bill. On line 2, I'll enter the following. The date is 12-15-2017. The vendor is Daigle Lighting. I'll leave the account blank, and the amount will auto-fill. And the item is Fluorescent Ceiling Lighting. I'll click Save Transactions. I'll click Yes to the Confirm Account window. I'll click OK to the Transaction Saved window. Now I'll review the results of my entries. I'll click on Customers from the icon bar to bring up the Customer Center. I'll click Babcock's Music Shop from the list of customers. Notice the invoice number and the amount for the invoice that was created from the batch enter transactions. I'll close the Customer Center. I'll click on Vendors from the icon bar to bring up the Vendor Center. I'll click on Diane's Auto Shop from the list of vendors. Notice the bill that was created from the batch enter transactions. This completes the demonstration. You're encouraged to try this exercise on your own. If you get stuck, watch the tutorial again and then try the exercise again on your own. Thanks for watching.